Hi guys, uh, Razor here and patch notice here. We've got some massive news on Diablo 2 Resurrected starting on Friday. They have released the patch notes. So let's have a quick read through here and see if there is anything new that uh, we can uh, sink our teeth into. So Diablo 2 Resurrected Ladder Season 4 coming. That would be this Friday. We celebrate your prophesized return adventurer. Countless demons have met their timely demise at the end of your weapon, yet their onslaught doesn't relent. Sanctuary needs its savior. Return on May 4 to wreak havoc among the burning hell's ranks in Season 4. Read further through this tomb to glean information, do future improvements, quality life updates and bug fixes that were released in patch 2.7. So just the quest is basically what is in here. And we can see new ladder. I won't read everything word for word. Uh, let's see, arrange the first amendment name. So ladder will begin May 4 that we know on all the same times it usually does. So for us in Europe, it will be May 5 and 2 a.m. In Asia, May 5 at 10 a.m. So again, uh, kind of a midnight time, 2 o'clock in the morning. We'll see how everyone handles that, but uh, we're used to it by this time. And then, of course, it is in all the expansions. You can play ladder, hardcore ladder, and such. Uh, let's move further down. You might be wondering how it happens to your shared stash. Right, so every time there is a new uh, ladder coming out, your old characters will move to standard. And you have a set period of time. That period of time is until the next ladder reset sorry so all the characters of your previous ladder please do take all that items out of your stash before the season resets when that happens you will lose everything from season two then everything from season three will end up in the stash that you can remove and you have all the time in season four to then remove it before season four ends that's how it works so if you've got any stash led forward just go have a look in your stash pull it out there's a little button in the right top and you can click it and withdraw everything from there and then when the season starts you're fine and you again have a whole season to get season three stuff out of the tab um nothing further added there so here it is patch 2.7 let's have a look starting may 2 10 a.m pdt uh, feature adjustments players will now have four additional character slots available across all online modes that is great they did advertise that uh, at the start so it's something we wanted long ago so i guess it's fine we get the additional space which is uh, very needed then the first time a ladder character from a previous season is used in a non-ladder game the ability to reset stat and skill points at the car will be reset okay that is quite nice so if you have used your stat points, you know, normally, especially if you want to min-max, you've used some of them, if not all of them already. So when you move this character now to a non-ladder character, you get all three stat reset uh, spenders back. So if you want to uh, respec into another build with that character, you can do that. Uh, all chat lobbies have been outfitted with an automated system which will remove malicious messages. So these kind of unwanted things is, is getting censored, which I guess is fine. Um, quality of life updates and bug fixes. Nothing about content yet, did you see? The next heat delay system, okay, they spoke about that. So basically just martial arts people that use more than one skill now have a benefit, which there's a, a delay on separate skills, so that basically will boost their damage. And if you only use the one skill to attack, it will do nothing, because you still have the same heat delay on the one skill. Um, knockback has been removed from Bukathos. Uh, developers note, powerful set. Okay, so it's a melee set they took it away, which hopefully they do with more melee stuff because it's kind of irritating if you're a melee build and you knock the enemy back and you can't damage him again. Knock back on something like a bow attack is kind of fine. A lot of times, like, keeps you safe, you know, it's fine because you attack from a distance, but uh, this is a nice change. Um, not that I think anyone really uses that set, but okay. Druids are now able to shapeshift directly between their werewolf and werebear forms, which this is nice. It's for the new uh, helmet metamorphosis where uh, you first had to change back into human form then change to werebear human you know werewolf if you wanted to do, use uh, both both of the buffs which let's be honest everyone's going to so this is nice this should be actually nice for some other builds as well so they don't have to uh, shift, shift back in that but this is a quite a good quality of life change but something we actually would have wanted from the start when metamorphs was uh, released then Assassin's Trap skills now benefit from... Okay, so this is the second time they said this is fixed. So this is just a fix on the fix last season that they said they fixed, but they didn't fix and it was still a problem. We got all that. Um, plus elemental skills to be affected for traps as well. So let's hope that is finally fixed now. Fishing if I'm a festival drop. Uh, okay, that's a bug. Fix, that's a bug. Fix, that's a bug. Okay, general. 
there's nothing really new yet just bug fixes that should have been fixed anyway fix the translation fix an issue towns okay fix an issue with the icon donate monster to run some proper displaying right display error fix an issue with amazon's audio error i mean that visibility error okay ladder fix an issue where messages fix an issue right this is just fixing the game okay uh fix the issue where that just fixes them. okay i don't know who plays console modding increases the total limit um, by Diablo 4 this is basically what it's saying okay we knew they're gonna do that I mean this is why they're upping the game just to sell the new game where they make money but it's great we all bought it we're all gonna enjoy it but yeah so this is more of a quality of life patch fix quick ladder this is no real content so it's just a plain ladder reset which we had for a long time so I think some people will be a little bit disappointed. I was looking forward to maybe just adding one thing, just like just one rune word would have been nice to chase somewhere and maybe experiment with. But yeah, I guess like if you didn't play Mosiac, which I actually didn't, maybe I'll do that. But I really wanted to play a Druid this league. So I'll be between the two, either a Druid or Assassin. But yeah, not not much new really. Um, maybe traps will now actually be decent. What we think they, they are decent anyway, but. So you, you will dish out more damage if you're going for traps. Um, and then going for Mozak. Uh, a lot of people know that it works now. So I think that will be quite a popular starter. But the MF people will still just start sorceresses. There's no change on teleporting. There's no change on Enigma. Some of the things people want to just to shake up the game. I mean, even re just removing Enigma from the season uh, for one ladder would be fine. But yeah, so unfortunately... <laughs> big news and the big news is there isn't much news it's basically just bug fixes that that's all it is just bug fixes and then the percentage damage on traps are fixed so that's going to be a good starter so it's going to be good mosaic but uh, i reckon still we're going to see 80 percent rocks uh, not going to be much change but it's still normally a good time good fun to have with a with a launch a little bit disappointed that there's not uh, more on this ladder um but we know they're concentrating mainly on this game at this stage but we should be happy uh normally a fun time over the weekend um, I will jump in and play I need to work so I can't completely start like I used to and take leave and that kind of thing but I'll definitely jump in and have some fun and I hope you guys enjoy it um, and I'll see you in the week